What's up, everybody? Do I pack at it again with another video? Today, we're gonna be talking about Beyond the Wire, the very underrated World War One game. I call it underrated because there's not a whole lot of big YouTubers that are really talking about this game, at least not at the moment. This is a game that I've had my eye on for a while now. I haven't really talked too much about it because there's just been other things that have been going on, but this game has been dropping significant updates since the timing of this recording. Like, they've been showing off quite a bit, but I just never really got around to covering it or seeing what's really been going on. I know that they did have a couple of uh, closed alphas, which I didn't actually get a part of, or at least I don't think that I did. I know I sent an email asking if I could get into one of their closed alphas, but I don't think I got a message back if I could actually do that. I really don't recall. But now that I know that this game is going to be coming out on the, I think it said 21st of October, I'll definitely be checking that out. This game is being made by a studio called Redstone Interactive. They're using the engine that was built to make Postscriptum and Squad, but when I look at these scenes, they actually made it look distinctly better looking than those other two games. But I could definitely see a lot of resemblance from uh, Postscriptum because a lot of the guns that they use in Postscriptum they're also going to be using in here. Because I mean the Car 98 and a bunch of the French weapons and the Lee Enfield was all used in World War One. So I mean they didn't have to do too much with that. But yeah those battlefields definitely look really nice. I just really hope that it actually plays like a World War One game. You know where you have to actually sit in the trenches, you blow the whistle, you get up and you start charging across the field. That'd be freaking cool. I hope it doesn't play like Battlefield Field 1 where everybody's just running around like a maniac. I really hope that it plays closer to Verdun than any other game to be honest because that's just what I'm missing, you know? Like a World War 1 game that actually plays like a World War 1 game. I mean, I really like Verdun, but the problem is that I never actually got to play it with other players. Like for the most part, it's just me playing against AI, which I mean, it's cool that I can do that, but at the same time, it just gets kind of samey because you just know where the AI is going to go. Like they become predictable. I think the one thing that really scares me about this game is that I don't know how many people are actually going to play this game. Like every time that I look at their video, I quite like the way that they do their videos, but the views just aren't always there. So I do worry a bit about the future of this game because I know that a lot of people just aren't into this type of game per se, but I hope that it actually gets a pretty decent sized player base because it does look a lot of fun, to be honest. I think my only issue with this trailer here though is the uh, melee. It does look a little awkward, but then again, I don't think that this engine was actually built for melee. Like even in squad and postscriptum, they still get the melee kind of awkward and they're trying to like do like a Mordow type freaking melee here. So I'll definitely have to see how that goes because I'm probably not going to be somebody that's going to be using melee a lot, I just imagine. But then again, I am probably going to be charging across a lot of fields. So I guess melee is going to happen, whether I like it or not. So who knows? That's probably where I'm going to end it. So what are your thoughts on Beyond the Wire? Is this a game that you're going to try out? I mean, if you decide to try it out, I will definitely play with you because I need people to play these types of games, damn it. What are your thoughts? Do you think you're going to get it? Or do you think that Offworld Industries is spreading its wings just a little too much? Just like how they did with Postscriptum when they didn't finish Squad. Let me know what you think down below. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Beyond the Wire, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something they like on the channel. Why don't you stick around? If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. Trust me, it really helps. But with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.